A lot of TDs find themselves moving between different switchers and different facilities every day. And there's nothing more frustrating than having to manually change all of your effects because the sources naturally don't match between facilities. Source patching solves this problem by letting you translate inputs from switcher to switcher while you're loading your effects. So let me tell you how this works. I'm going to go to user setup. On the left hand side of the source patch menu here are all the video key pairs that are in the first switcher that I'm using now before I save my effects. Now on the second column here you can see that I've made some personal user source names. Now what that really means is on the left hand side those are the names that the engineer tends to assign to the sources in the switcher. Normally a TD doesn't have access to those names or the engineering setup menu. But when I go to my second switcher, I need to know what the source is. Well, DDR1 might not mean anything to me. Well, I know that my first DDR is usually called red in the truck. DDR2 is usually called blue, 3 is gold, 4 is green, etc., etc. Now, I know that my first XDCAM deck is usually used for my frame memory backup. And my second one is for my graphics. Again, these are likely not going to be in the same position on the second truck or facility that I go to use. So, I give these names so that I know what they are down the road. So after I've gone and set all of my user source names, I'm going to save this under here under step two, export to memory. I'm going to save this little table onto a memory card. So I'm going to hit export. Okay, so we've saved this file. Let me go back here and let me demonstrate. If I'm on my first truck and I call up this effect, you can see a three box pop up and the DDRs are in a specific order, which is yet another shameless plug for my children, Kelsey on the left, Drew in the middle, and Zach on the right. If I then go to my second truck without source patching and they have different sources in different places on the switcher and I try to call up that effect, I likely get something like that. The effect is right, but the sources are in the wrong place. So let me use the source patch table to fix this problem. So let's go over here to the source patch table and the first thing that I'm going to do when I get to my next switcher is I'm going to import the file that I already saved on the memory card. Remember that had my source names. So I'm going to import this and let's go back over here. Now, on the left hand side you can see that my imported user source names are here. That's the red, blue, gold, green and all those other ones I put up. On the right hand side are the video key pair and source names from the second truck. And again, typically a TD is not going to have access to change those. You can see that from what we saw before, they don't line up anymore. Remember my red was associated with DDR1, my blue was associated with DDR2. You can see that they don't match. So let's go into the patch table assign and fix that. So we have patch table assign. The way this works is, I'm going to use this to scroll up and down here. So I'm going to line up red and I'm going to scroll with the second knob to find DDR1. I'm going to hit set and now red is now matched with DDR1. Let me do that with blue. And we will go up here and match it with DDR2. We're going to go to gold, match it with DDR3, and we're going to go to green and match it with DDR4. Now all of those are now matched. Now it hasn't done anything yet because I have to actually load my effects for the translation to take effect. So I'm going to go to the file snapshot button here, which is really just a shortcut to the file load. And I'm going to reload all of my snapshots again from my memory card. I'm going to hit all, except I'm going to click one more button, source patch link. And what that's going to do is to tell it while it's loading this file to do all those translations that we just did. So I'm going to load it. And now when I recall the effect, it loads correctly.